بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی ول ڈرا دا گراف آف سمپل پینڈلم ایکسپیریمنٹ سو ان دس ایکسپیریمنٹ یو ہیو آلریڈی ٹیکن دا ڈیٹا بٹوین لینتھ اینڈ ٹائم پیریڈ سو ان دس ایکسپیریمنٹ یو ریمبر دیٹ دس از آور لینتھ آف دا پینڈلم اٹ از we measured in centimeter but we convert it into meter and then this is the first time second time third time and then divided by three so this is t average value so this plus this plus this divided by three and this is our time period so time period mean t average divided by the number of vibrations which we have taken already 20. so taking the square of this value when you take the square of this value your answer will be this one so in this way we are changing the length of the pendulum and measuring the time and then time period and then square of that time period so why we are doing this job uh, because according to theory our formula for the time uh, for the simple pendulum is this one that t is equal to 2 pi l over g under root so when we take the square on both sides it will be 4 pi square over g into l like this one so we compare this equation with the straight line equation mx plus c and here c is 0 so it means our graph will start from 0 0 so this is 0 0 and this is l in meter and this will be t square so here you can see uh, that x uh, l is along x axis and m is 4 pi square over g and m is what m is the slope so our graph line will be straight like this one and we will plot uh, find the slope and then put the value of the slope in the equation which equation 4 pi square over g is equal to m so m is the slope so our target is to find the value of g so what will be the equation the equation will be 4 pi square over m and this is 4 pi square over slope so we will find the slope from the graph and put that value of slope here but how we will draw this graph this is our target in this uh, video so this is the data and in this data you can see uh, this is the length side and this is the t square and this is our uh, x axis and this is our y axis okay so what we will do first we will see again according to the uh, previous experiments rules uh, the maximum value is 70 actually it is not 70 it is actually 0 0.7 meter because it is 70 centimeter so when you convert this one uh, 70 centimeter uh, to meter so what you will do you will do 70 over 100 so when you cut this one answer is 0 0.7 so one way is this one you can write the value like this one or the other way is this one you can write the value like this one so it depends on you which style you are using either this one or this one so sometimes the students uh, are thinking that this style is a little easy one so okay so i'm following this style so in this style uh, you can see i cut this one i am not writing this one so i make air 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 now my maximum value is 0 0.7 so 0 0.7 divided by uh, the number of squares along x axis normally we are taking 15 so when you take the 15 squares what will be the answer so here you can see in the calculator uh, 0 0.7 divided by 15 so answer is 0 0.046 0 0.046 so you will not take this number you will take the next uh, value so next value is 0 0.05 so this is good number okay so our x axis scale is one square is 0 0.05 no x axis scale is clear okay 
the y axis scale is see this the maximum value is 2.75 so 2.75 divided by the y axis squares are normally 25 so i am taking 25 so if you divide it by 25 what will what will be the answer see 2.75 divided by 25 so answer is you can see uh, the answer is 0 0.11 so 0.11 but we will not take 0.11 we will take a suitable number and that is 0 0.15 or you can take 0 0.20 so any value you can choose okay so this is our graph paper and first we will uh, mark here the x-axis and the y-axis lines so draw the lines of x-axis and y-axis So this is our y-axis line and this is our x-axis line. Okay. Now, you can see here, uh, this is the 0, 0. Now, I have to write this number, 0 0.05. I have to write this number. 0 0.05 so what you will do 0 0.05 and then 0 0.10 0 0.15 then 0 0.20 0 0.25 0 0.30 0 0.35 0 0.40 0 0.45 and then 0 0.50 0 0.55 0 0.60, 0 0.65, 0 0.70, and 0 0.75. So our values, maximum value is 0 0.70. Okay. After this, now draw the points uh, along y-axis. So y-axis will be, you can see it's 0. Point, um, you can take 0 0.15 or 0 0.2. So if I take 0 0.15, then it will be what? So here you can write 0 0.15, so 0 0.30, then 0. Point, um, 0. Point, um, this one, point, uh, 15 you can add, 0 0.45, 0 0.60, 0. Point, uh, 0.75, then it will be 0. Point, nine zero and then it will be 1.05 then 0 0.15 1.20 then 1.35 and 1.50 1.65 uh, 1.65 and uh, then uh, 15 add eight zero and then one point uh, nine five and then uh, this is um, a two point one zero then two point fifteen add two point two five and then two point fifteen add forty and this is two point uh, five five then two point uh, fifteen add seven zero and this is 2.85 so our maximum value is you can see the maximum value is 2.75 so it's it is covering here now must write here t square and second square and then here you will write uh, l in meter so this is our uh, scale along x-axis this is our scale along y-axis now we have points the points are first point is 0 0.3 and 1.21 this one 1.21 this is number these numbers we will take so 0 0.30 so 0 0.30 is this value and 1.21 so 1.21 is uh, around 1.1, around here, okay? This is one point. 
okay the next is 0 0.40 so 0 0.40 is here and the value is 1.61 uh, the value is 1.61 so what you will do you will draw a point around 1. Point, uh, this is 1.5 1. Point, uh, in between here 6 and this one okay so this is another point now the next is the 1.96 at 0 0.50 0 0.50 is here and 1.96 96 mean 95 above here okay and then the next point is 2.34 so 2.34 is 0 0.60 0 0.60 is here and 2.34 so 2.34 surely it will be around here okay so this is approximate points and 2.75 and the last value is 0 0.70 here and 2.75 so go to 2.75 so this is our uh, 2.7 and this is 2.85 and then it will be around here okay now this these are the points now you can see the points so our line must start from zero zero so what you will do you will take the scale and start it from zero this is important and draw a best fit line all points are not uh, touching with each other uh, on the line but maybe some point on the line some not on the line so what you will do but starting from zero zero so this is my line okay i draw this line okay now this is my zero zero points and you can take any other point which you can read easily so the easiest point which you can re uh, easily read that is uh, more uh, at least half of the, uh, more than half of this length you should take okay it's better you can take this point so if you take this point then this is the line and this is the line okay now read this value and this value, y, uh, x value is 0 0.35 and 1.35. So this value is 0, 0 here. This is 0, 0. So slope is equal to y2 minus y1, 1 1.35 minus 0 over uh, x2 minus x1, 0 0.35 minus 0. So we will solve this one. And the answer is uh, 1.35 divided by 0 0.35. So you can see our answer is 3.85. And the units will be second square over meter. Now, we put this value in the formula G is equal to 4 pi square over 3.85. So what will be the answer? Now, see the answer. Here I write, uh, write this one, uh, 4 into pi square, this is the answer, 39.47 divided by 3.85. So divided by 3.85. So see this value is 10.25 meter per second square. But our actual value is g value is 9.81 meter per second square so in this way you can also find the error so error you can find the error is uh, actual value minus uh, this uh, the calculated value or the bigger value minus the smaller value because we are always taking error in mod values so this is 10.25 minus 9.81 divided by the actual value is 9.81 okay and multiply by 100 
because error is in percentage. So what is the answer? 10.25 minus 9.81. The answer is 0 0.444 divided by 9.81 multiplied by 100 divided by 9.81. And this is answer is 0 0.045 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 100. So this is 4.5 percent error. So less than 5% error is acceptable in any experiment. So in this way, you can mm, plot your graph and find the slope and find the value of G. So this is the whole graph. Okay. I think you understand. Thank you very much.